poliomyelitis in his right leg at the age of two. He crawled for nine years until he eventually learned to walk with the help of a wooden stick. Born into a Pearson family, his parents decided to use their farming profits to give Alem access to education and a brighter future. As a teenager, Alem's talent was endless learning to swim and play soccer with the Ghanaian national amputee soccer team. He first learned to ride a bicycle to help speed up his long delayed journey to school and so his passion for cycling began. Alem has decided to use his talent for cycling as a vehicle to help change the negative perception towards disability in Ghana and to inspire a new generation of disabled athletes. Alem set out to be the first ever Ghanaian paracyclist to compete at the London 2012 Paralympic Games. The challenge is now to qualify for the 2016 Paralympic Games in Brazil and Alem needs to compete in the UCI Championship event in order to gain enough points for a world ranking. Six qualifying events have been chosen around the globe over the next 18 months which will maximize his opportunity to earn a much needed point for Rio. All right, so he joins me in the studio once again. As I promised you yesterday, we couldn't have enough time to finish uh, Alam's quest in ensuring that he represents Ghana at the Rio 2016 Paralympics. He's in the studio once again just to wrap it up. Yesterday, we looked at the Alam Foundation and how uh, he's also campaigning to ensure that he eradicates polio and also give back to the society. Uh, Alam, thanks for joining us once again. Today, thank you too. We just want to look at um, your preparations towards Rio 2016. Quite importantly, um, do you think you're going to get enough funds to represent that and also to get as a medal in there should, I mean, anyone come up to sponsor you? The, thank you so much. The funds is the, the question that I drew, mm. uh, ask myself. Uh, it is difficult and uh, sad that even 20, before we qualified to 2012, uh, uh, Right Dream Sports Academy came in and uh, with We've already had uh, our own uh, competition that we attended. And uh, this 2016, the qualification started uh, 1st January 2014. But up to now, none of the athletes has been competed in the World Championships or qualification events. And we are bidding to qualify. If we don't qualify, <laughs> then it's going to be a shame. And I, I wonder if athletes are not able to compete in the World Championships or compete in the qualifying events, how they are going to compete in the uh, final, the big game, which is the Paralympic Games. And it's sad that uh, each athlete needs 7,500 series to compete in the, the World Championships and World Cup in Germany and Switzerland respectively and as it stands now none of us has any uh, fun to even do the, the registration or bookings uh, though we have reserved but it's very sad and uh, talking of the winning or have a medal in the London uh, Rio 2016 uh, if you need to prepare before you can win. It's not an easy thing. And that is what we need to do, which we are not getting the support. And Ghana is supposed to do that, but very sad that they concentrate on only one sport, which is sports. I'm not saying they forget about football. I'm not saying they forget about it, but they should look at the other lesser known sports. U.S. is known as U.S. because they value individual disciplines. And that is why U.S. is ruling the world. And Ghana especially persons with disabilities, the talents that we have, they got to value it. They got to support it. And when we get the little support, we rise to the pinnacle of life as international ethical leader. We are not doing it for ourselves. We do for, a, for Ghana. If you have seen the, the video, the video did not, the, the color of the, the my shirt is not Allen. It's Ghana. So why do I raise the flag of the country when the country does not support me. Uh, we are six in number who have registered, put our entrance in the 
the two competitions to attend in July 22nd to the 2nd of August. And it needs 75,000 Ghana cities, uh, 7,500 Ghana cities. But unfortunately, none has gotten some. Have you heard uh, I mean, anything from the I mean, Ghana Para Sports Association? What are they also doing to ensure? I mean, because of, obviously, uh, when it comes to administration, they are the first point of call to ensure I mean, they get these kind of funds for you. Well, it's sad that when you approach them, they are supposed to do what we are doing now. <laughs> but Why should you, the athlete, do that? <laughs> yes, but we, the athletes, are, have to, are, I'd rather do that. And it is sad when you ask them, they will tell you no funds from the government or from ministries of uh, youth and sports. And uh, with due respect, the government did mention something about taking care of less uh, sport, the lesser known sports. I would have wished or loved if he had mentioned that lesser known sports, you used to collect 10% of the sports funds allocation, uh, allo the funds located for uh, sports. Now we are giving you 30%. And that is where we would have seen that, okay, we will also be able to get our shares when that is made, where we would uh, contact the right people to do. But <laughs> the open statement he made uh, still doesn't help with <laughs> the less, less privilege. Medal is a medal. We raise, we get medal, and it, is for, it doesn't have any difference. So why are our sports not looking, uh, Why are our sports not uh, being valued? We raise the, the the flag of the country, irrespective of our physical state. So it is very important mm -hmm. that they pay attention to our uh, sports, and people who are sitting at the at the, the roadside will also have interest to join the sport or any other thing that will. Uh, Drive, drive them from the road, uh, from Bergen. Uh, I actually appreciate people who have helped me from the start, and I continue to thank them for bringing, uh, helping me come to Lamlight. Okay. Okay. Uh, it is sad that, as I even talk to you, people from the Western world support me in many diverse ways to compete. Last year, I competed with the support of my co uh, Alem co founded in the, the UK, okay. Alexander Main. And uh, uh, Papers Health Center also helped me compete in 2013, which I won the bronze medal. Okay, okay, Alem. So uh, we call on every individual who has a passion for disabled sports to help us raise the flag of the country. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Uh, well spoken, Ale Mumini, uh, Africa's number one paracyclist, uh, hoping to make Ghana proud and raising funds in this campaign to raise funds for himself to represent Ghana and uh, other para athletes also at the Rio 2016 Games. Thanks for watching uh, the sports segment here on Media Live. We've got more sports at the later with Michael Oteje on News 360. Enjoy the rest of the afternoon.